Do you ever hear a chord that makes your heart break? Well, in today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you what I think is the most heartbreaking chord of them all. I'm also gonna show you how to use this beautiful chord in five jazz and pop tunes. Are you ready to get your heart broken? Then let's begin. If you guessed quintal chords as the most heartbreaking chords, then you are correct, congratulations. Today's quick tip covers the quintal chord stacks for piano. The definition of quintal chords are basically chords that have the intervals of fifths in them. There is a piano player named Kenny Barron who popularized this technique. There's a song by Sting that he recorded called Fragile that goes. Sings. And it can be used in jazz, contemporary, pop tunes even. And although you can use quintal voicings for major seventh and dominant seventh chords, we're going to focus today on minor eleventh quintal voicings. If you're enjoying today's video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. So to construct a quintal minor eleventh voicing, let's take F minor 11. What we're going to do, we're going to stack the intervals of fifths. So in our left hand, we're going to go F, go up a fifth to C, go up another fifth to G, and then in our right hand, we're going to play the third, so up a half step, and then fifth, fifth. So we had root, fifth, ninth, three, seven, eleven. And you can play it both as a blocked chord like this, or you can roll it as a broken chord. A gorgeous voicing. The minor 11th quintal voicing works best when the 11th is in the melody. I have five songs where we're going to be using this quintal voicing where the 11th is in the melody, two pop songs and three jazz tunes. And although you can use the minor 11th quintal voicing over any minor 7 chord, today we're going to focus on these examples that use this quintal voicing over the minor 1 chord, the minor 2 chord, and the minor 6 chord. The first example of this minor quintal voicing comes from the song by Burt Bacharach, The Look of Love. And in this case, we're using the minor 11 voicing as the one chord. And if you check out the melody in the second bar, the melody is the 11th of the chord. So it's an A minor seven chord, and the 11th is in the melody. So we're calling that an A minor 11. It goes like this. If you'd like to get the downloadable sheet music from today's quick tip, please click on the link below. The second example of a quintal voicing comes from the John Legend tune, All of Me. And in this case, we're using it as the six chord. We're in the key of A flat, and six in the key of A flat is F minor. So we have an F minor 11 chord, and notice the melody is the 11th as well. It goes like this. example of a minor 11 quintal voicing comes from the standard Misty made popular by the vocalist Johnny Mathis. And if you notice here, we're in the key of E flat major, and in the key of E flat, two would be F minor. And so we have this F minor quintal voicing on the very first pickup for Misty. And it goes like this. quintal voicing comes right in the beginning there on the two chord because the melody again is the 11th. The fourth example of using a minor quintal voicing comes from the song made popular by Frank Sinatra called I Thought About You and as you can see from this example you have several quintal voicings and you even have some that go down chromatically. It's pretty cool it sounds like this. So right away we have these quintal voicings, F minor 11, then you go down to E minor 11, and then E flat minor 11, 
and then to D minor 11, all quintal voicings. I love that. And then you even have a quintal voicing here on the C minor 11 chord, because again, in all these cases, the 11th is in the melody, and that's what's so cool about these quintal voicings. And for a deeper dive into chords and chord voicings just like this, please go to pianowithjohnny.com. The fifth example of a minor 11 quintal voicing comes from the song made popular by Ray Charles called Georgia. And as you can see from the second measure, we're in the key of F major, and there is a 2-5 of the minor 6. And the quintal voicing comes in the second measure as E minor 11. It goes like this. So you see that E minor 11 in the second measure, again, because the melody is the 11th of E minor 11, and that's being used as a 2-5 of the 6 in the key of F major. Really gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tip on quintal chord stacks for piano. I encourage you to try this beautiful quintal voicing anytime you see a minor chord that has the 11th in the melody. Have fun, and we'll see you next time. All right, everybody? So long. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the lesson, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.